Dave here, and welcome back to Fallout 4, where today we're going to be doing some more building over at Warwick Homestead, but also, and more importantly, we're going to be answering the question of why General Dave here is in disguise, and why I, despite being the most patriotic member of the Commonwealth, have been installing a bunch of communism mods. First though guys, just a quick reminder that YouTube no longer notifies everyone of new uploads even if you're subscribed to a channel, so if you're subscribed, make sure that you hit that bell right next to the subscription button, that way you will get just occasional notifications of new uploads. It won't guarantee that you'll see everything, but it will help. I wanted to remind you guys of this because this Friday I'm going to be releasing a new episode of Backyard Battlefield, my real world firearm series, and you're not going to want to miss out on that. You know, from the side, you don't see as much of the cell phone. You don't look like as much of a dork. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so back in game, I am back here at Warwick Homestead. Now, the last time you guys saw this, it was being constructed as a water plant. But we just saw a Minutemen controlled water plant in the middle of the Commonwealth right there at that dam location. So, I really, really liked what I was building here at Warwick, but it was kind of redundant, especially seeing this former water plant is just so very far away from the middle of my Minutemen Empire. But, if you guys are familiar with the Fallout 4 map here, you do know what it is near, and that's Spectacle Island, which, in my save game, has been rebuilt into Pleasure Island. If you guys haven't seen that tour from a couple years back, I'll link it right there in the description. It is essentially an island of sin and debauchery run by Joel's in-game character. And I was looking at, again, this more redundant water facility that was half complete here at Warwick Homestead, and I said, okay, this is a frontier settlement far away from the center of General Dave's Minutemen Empire here in the Commonwealth. It's about as far away as you can get from Sanctuary. Even though it's a bit closer to the castle, it's still way on down the coast. So, as you guys can tell from the banners outside, this is not going to be a Minutemen settlement any longer. This is going to be a commune for those trying to escape the grasp of General Dave and his generous republic, I guess. Unfortunately, it's looking like if you're still living somewhere in the Commonwealth, you're not going to be able to escape uh, some form of authoritarianism, but this is going to be the other end of the spectrum. It's going to be a huge water plant and farm, but it's going to be run by the Warwick family as a communist commune. Even got some of these really fantastic communist jumpsuits. We're going to do some building here today, but first I want to show you guys a few of the changes that I've made. We're still going to have our living quarters for the workers now out here on the beach tugboat. But again, with a couple of decorative changes. Oh, she's laying down the law. Sorry about the smell. This place used to handle sewage. It's nice to have a lot of food. We used to only eat once a day. As you guys can see, the Warwick family is definitely the uh, Soviet communist upper class here. They found a stash of uniforms, probably from that submarine, and have used them to convince a bunch of workers to move in. I'm imagining this area out here as a parade ground stage is already kind of uh, a nice bit of high ground, so I've placed some communist paintings and lighting effects. But the water plant that we worked on last time we were here at Warwick has been converted just a bit. Hi, how are you? And it does yeah. now say yeah. Warwick Water Plant and yes. Commune yeah. with some new communist decorations. 
Just a couple. And this is a theme that we're going to be continuing throughout huh? the build. Huh? But because this settlement is a communist settlement and is outside of the grasp, at least for now, of the Minutemen, I also wanted to have it be a second location for people to show up and get rides out to Pleasure Island. So I have a second uh, transportation craft making direct runs out there to Pleasure Island. So if you're uh, stopping into the commune to buy some food from the farm or supplies or whatnot, you can also see your Pleasure Island await sign here advertising pleasant company for all the old world arcade fighting in the ring and uh, gambling in cards. This is the SS Sinner, which is kind of the exact opposite of some of those ships run by the Minutemen that you saw at my Kingsport Lighthouse build. I wanted this watercraft being essentially run by uh, profiteers and if not raiders, then uh, mercenaries. I wanted it to be uh, very low to the water, very scrappy, kind of just a minimum of protections. And then of course the name, the SS Sinner, implying what you can get up to out there on Pleasure Island. Unlike those Minutemen ships, which were very heavily armored, uh, this ship has good protection from the sandbags and, you know, a nice swinging workshop door here, but it's definitely more open air and just a, a cheap way to get clients out to Pleasure Island. Even the defensive weapons aren't that great. Someone's got a pipe bolt-action pistol there. Just some basic netting uh, to protect the main cargo area back here, both for people and for goods. Somebody's got a super cheap seat right there, the rolly chair, just crammed into the cargo area. And if you want a bit more protection, you have the quote-unquote upper-class seats with the seat belts. And a bit more of that sandbag protection and an actual roof over their heads. Look at that. Fancy. And of course, my Minutemen ships were propelled by various jury-rigged jet engines, whereas this thing is run by this uh, super scrappy propeller. And of course, you have the Pleasure Island Anarchy flag right there. Up front of the SS Center in the Captain's Quarters, got a very jury-rigged steering mechanism. Just a few things that you would expect to see in a cabin going back and forth. You have your red light for night vision to protect your eyesight. A map of the Commonwealth. And a broken clock, because who cares when you get there as long as you make it, right? And up front, you've got quite a few spiky bits on the front of the ship, both to prevent uh, monsters and probably raiders as well from climbing on board, but in case you have to ram some other ramshackle ship out here in the waters. No pun intended, that was a lot of uh, ram in <laughs> that sentence. Then up top you have a very lonely turret all by itself, just the one. I figured that the fact that this craft only has a single turret is definitely a sign that it is not run by the Minutemen because General Dave would have like nine turrets on top of this thing. And then a single uh, very bright spotlight for cutting through the fog out there in the harbor. That's the view from up top. So that's the SS Center. I might have a small like uh, ticket booth here as well. I haven't quite decided yet. But from what I remember on Pleasure Island there is a ticket booth right there uh, as you arrive so maybe that would be redundant so perhaps not a ticket booth but it could be uh, a salesman booth if you will where he's got a little stand where he's shouting at people to come by and uh, try pleasure island and uh, take a break from surviving in the commonwealth to take care of yourself and have some fun but I'm also imagining, because we're going to have a huge farm, I'm going to expand this thing uh, quite a bit, that we're going to have a communist farmer's market slash grocery section up here for travelers to come through and buy and sell food. You can also tell 
that this is not a Minutemen settlement because the walls aren't super fortified. They're, for the most part, just yeah. chain link. But you guys have been asking for some non-Minutemen settlements, and as I have not yet finished Joel's uh, <laughs> Raider bathhouse, this is going to be a fun project to work on because it's not Raiders, and it's not Gunners, and it's not uh, any of the main Fallout 4 factions, it's something a bit new, so we can have a bit of fun with it. But much like my uh, Brotherhood settlement, I do need yeah. some help from you guys. What else should we see here uh, at a communist, probably Chinese-leaning communist settlement, besides just the big farm, the farmer's market, the workers' quarters on the beached tugboat, and then the, uh, the Pleasure Island uh, docking area, and then the water plant, which is now very, very communist. What else could be here? We're going to do some building just a bit today, but uh, this won't be a super long let's build because I want to just introduce you guys to the concept and get some feedback before we dig in too much. Because again, I've already been building here. You know, all this water plant we've worked on in previous episodes. Is that last year now? Wow. Huh? Yeah. Uh, but I want to get some ideas from you guys before we get too far into this thing. So, for today, we're going to lay the foundations, uh, I guess no pun intended, for the farmer's market, which is going to be in this corner right here. And then the factory, which is going to be on this uh, straight section right here. It's going to be a smaller factory, but its purpose is going to be the processing of scrap. In true communist fashion, it's going to be all about uh, maintaining that production and keeping the workers busy. So let's lay out some actual foundation pieces. Yeah, and then this can be the farmer's corner right here with the booths to sell their wares. Let's just go through and start with some doors. I think we have some, yeah, nice big doors here. Let me go into a free cam for a second. Let's see how this is going to look. Hmm. I actually don't know if that fits well on that part of the settlement. I have a problem, guys, with even large-scale settlements where I tend to uh, pack them in too densely sometimes. And then I have to kind of walk things back uh, just a bit. So, I might actually move the idea for the farmer's market back here closer to the actual farm. Just seal these fences up with some repaired pieces. Which would then let us move the entire factory into this corner. I'm thinking we're going to have to have a gigantic communist flag uh, hanging here in the factory. It just seems appropriate. Okay. Yeah, this might look a little more natural, tucked up here and not as crowded. Yeah. It leaves a bit more open walking space, which again is something that I'm uh, not good at doing sometimes, is just leaving some open areas. Excuse me, sir. I did try to assign some of these guys to the guard post, and they haven't gone up there yet, so I'm not sure what's going on. Doors to the classic metal warehouse doors. Actually, I'm thinking it would be cool to uh, have one of the big 
rolling doors like this installed. Oh, stuck in the wall. Wait, where is the nearest power source? Ah. Time for yet another power pole. I might make these power lines more efficient at some point, but for now, let's make it a switched one. And there we go. Oh yeah, that's cool to have the actual roll-up door. With our foundation in place here, before I work on those uh, workbenches, let's get in here with a flag. Not the anarchy one, but the red flag. Ooh, I think each side of the skylight would look pretty awesome. We'll scale that up to ridiculous proportions. <laughs> Is that 140%, I think? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. And, uh, hmm. It's getting dark, so we'll think about lighting here next. Let's do a quick save first, though. For our lights here, I'm going to have this one hanging light. And that one's not quite bright enough. All right, guys, we're spending too much time on lights. Let's go with those hanging string lights. This is, after all, an apocalyptic reconstructed factory all right finally some light now that it's almost pitch black out here let's go over to our crafting where we have all kinds of cool stuff so we have an advanced engineering workbench definitely going to build one of those. Might actually make this our engineering corner back here. Ooh. If we put it in this corner with the extra space, we could then add from our special category... a robot workbench which would also look really really cool out here in the floor <laughs> not going to be able to use it till somebody fixes that light though going back to the crafting we have a ammunition workbench which I think is from New Vegas it looks like Not a great model and texture. I might skip that one. Yeah, this one's... This one's a bit more involved. I don't want to give away all of the lore because I'm still working on it uh, for this settlement, but it would be... Uh, pretty appropriate for it to be quite militarized. As not everyone's going to be a big fan of General Dave's expanding influence. And I think this group of communists would uh, definitely also be at the forefront of that resistance. Now, where's that, uh, see, resources miscellaneous? Under here, we should have 
There we go, our scavenging stations. Uh, a couple of those would make sense bringing in raw materials for the factory floor. <laughs> Shrine of Adam. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys this yet, but I found a mod that adds outhouses and bathrooms, and it's fantastic. Produces some fertilizer. They're wonderfully junky. Put that one under right there. This is like a treehouse toilet. Might put this one uh, further back in this corner. Maybe near our farmer's market. Not right next to it, though. Don't want to scare the customers away. But you know that they're going to be using this fertilizer. Here. I'll put it just outside the fencing here. I think we're also going to want some storage for the factory floor. But before I start taking up some of the space with storage options, let's look at just a couple more of our new workbenches because... Yeah, here we go. Because I want a few more workbenches where people are actually producing things. For instance, this one right here. The decal workbench, if General Dave is making propaganda, so are the communists for sure, including that Watchmen comic book. They're repairing some of those to distribute them inside of Minutemen territory. And I wonder if any of you guys are uh, seeing where that's going to eventually lead. And an extra big decal workbench right there. I think we're almost out of space, especially if we're going to be adding in some storage here, guys. So because of that, I'm going to make it just one decal workbench and we'll add in this, uh, this utility workbench. I believe under SKE. Yes, Northland Diggers. There's a do-it-yourself ammo station, but we already have two really good-looking ones of those. Very organized factory. Uh, this is the one I was looking for, guys. Uh, the stop hammer time. So we can have somebody working on raw resources outside. And I'll put a canopy over this one. Uh, metal splinters where someone's scrapping some metal for the ammo as well. Just like the idea of somebody... Is that a provisioner? Yeah, it's a provisioner. I like the idea of some folks out here working on raw materials. What are you guys doing? Let's assign this settler to hammer time. Hopefully the assignments start working because they've been bugging out. Oh, there he goes. Look at him. Look at him run. You, sir, will be in charge of metal splinters. I don't think they can actually be assigned to these newer workbenches, but they just look so, so cool. I believe under miscellaneous structures here, we're going to have some canopies. Uh, that one's kind of awkwardly shaped. We'll do this one here. It's going to need one support pole on the corner. So that worker's got uh, one piece of cover. 
over his workbench. We'll stick this one out like this. For his workbench. There might be some poles. Some support poles in here, too. Oh, yeah, there's retractable letters. Love that. I have a second miscellaneous category. <laughs> That's cool. You can place some of those paper decals. Not sure where those came from. Uh, let's just use the warehouse poles for now, even though it's overkill. Because I know exactly where they are. In my frankly ridiculous... Uh, workshop list here. Why is that snapping? Oh, the ground piece. Yeah, let's just clip that in like that. Now that it's starting to look like a proper factory. We can also go over to you know, let's let's quick save. Let's not tempt fate here. I've had no crashes all night, including some of the prep work for this recording, but you just never know. Alright, back into workshop mode. How does that look from the outside? Oh, yeah. I'm liking how this is uh, turning out. We're going to Homemaker, Decorations, and then Miscellaneous, where I'm going to put down some warehouse supplies. Fill in some of our details here. Let's have uh, a red crate where a box of ammo has been packaged up at the back door here, ready to be shipped out. Guess our ammo really does need a protective wall of some kind. Um, let me place down a pallet and a couple of uh, pieces like this. Yeah, there's still no one assigned to this. Odd. Uh, a few more pieces set up for decoration purposes. Really pays to add in those extra details. We can put a pallet back here. Big old munitions crate of ammunition ready to go out from the factory. This looks super dangerous to work in. Also have some miscellaneous decorations. We can add in a uh, box up here. Oh, nope, that has no clipping. Well, it's behind there now. That works. An announcement board. Put that in this corner. Just looking for just uh, a few small decorations. I'm going to put a small table in this corner uh, for, I think, some of the paperwork, uh, instruction manuals and whatnot for how to manufacture the ammo. I don't think we have any table-like things, though, in this decorations category. Let's go all the way to the end. Yeah. Yeah. 
going over to furniture and then tables. Yeah, we'll just do a very, very small table like this. Now let's seal up that hole in the wall <laughs> that I placed. Make it look like they've come through and done so themselves. Fences, junk fence. I believe we have a whole other set of yes, junk fence mods and accessories here so we can layer this up just a bit. Start with some corrugated metal and plywood. And fill all this up like this. Junky. I like it. Let's put a seal up there. Actually, it would probably make more sense to do it here, trying to keep uh, the rain off of the ammunition. See, it sounds like it's definitely storming out there already. <laughs> Clip that into the corner like this. That power line is clipping through in a way that I don't want it to. Here, I'll just uh, get past the demon seagulls here. Move this like this. Sure wish there were some settlers working the assignments that I gave them. Sure would be nice. Laziest group of communists ever. You in the jumpsuit. Hammer time. I'll try sleeping in a bit and see if that fixes their broken scripts, but... Okay, guys. Just a couple small things to wrap up the factory for tonight. Remember that time that I said this was going to be just a little bit of building? <laughs> Remember that time? I'm not going to go through any of my signs because my signs category is out of control. Instead, let's just go through our posters and look for manufacturing ones. There we go. These are awesome. Just what a good communist settlement needs. One more for the center. And then, uh, I believe if I go over to Creative Clutter and then uh, Wall Decorations and Posters, there we go. We have some poster uh, blank decorations that can just go right onto this bulletin board. And that gives things quite a bit of character. Okay, guys. Very last decoration. Let's do one more quick save. If I'm remembering correctly, if I go to let's see power, where did I place this? I actually modified this mod. Power neon neon signs. Yes. I have a debris mod that I moved over here because it has so many objects it was taking up too much space. Uh, in one of my other categories. So I put it under neon signs because there's basically uh, nothing else in that category besides, I think, the open sign originally. But we'll just place a couple of these metal decals like somebody's been 
working away on something. Don't want to go too crazy. So we'll stop there. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, guys. Excuse me, comrades. That, comrades, is our glorious communist production facility. Ready to trade some food at our future farmer's market for some scrap to rebuild into ammunition and robots and who knows what else here at this facility. Bringing things back around to the start of the video, let me hear from you guys. Now that Warwick is going to be both a gateway uh, to Pleasure Island and a communist commune, what do you guys want to see for different parts of this settlement? Let me hear your ideas for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, <laughs> I have to make the joke now that I thought of it, this uh, left turn <laughs> for my usual builds. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget, Backyard Battlefield coming up on Friday. See you guys then. Thank you.